Hello everyone. So today I have a Joann's haul. Now I haven't been to Joann's for probably more than a year and a half. Um, the lo one location that we have here in Memphis had moved to a different, um, well, a different spot, much better store. Um, but it's real. it's pretty far for me. I'd say it's probably about 15 miles, maybe. <laughs> That's a far for me, okay? Might not be far for a lot of people, but it is definitely far. But I went ahead and took the opportunity to go and check it out. So here is what I got. So let's start with the paper. I'll start with the pad first. So I got this um, DC uh, WV die cuts with a view uh, pad called Preserved Paper because I like the whole vintage look of it. Um, it's double-sided with gold foil. So these are all the different patterns that are um, in there. I'm not going to do a flip through right now because I just kind of want to get through this video. So I got this pad and everything paper craft was 40% off. I think it was 40% off <laughs> and or maybe it was 30. Actually, I think it was 30. Um, I also went ahead and um, got some of the open stock paper because it was, uh, yeah, it was 30%. So I picked up this uh, music sheet this like distressed you know kind of music sheet because it would work well with something that i have in mind i picked this one up it just looks like a uh, vintage stamps like you're on vacation so i thought this would look really good if i cut them in strips rather than cut cutting them individually got this one because this would work well also with that moon child collection that i um well paper that i purchased from scrapbook.com um got this one with the cameras because I'm going to use it for um, some of my uh, journal, my traveler's notebook. I still have to finish um, my Japan trip and <laughs> my Philippines trip. Good Lord, that's from like 2017. And then I got two of these. I kind of wish I'd gotten more because I love the look of this. Um, they look like seed packs in a way, but um, yeah, I just love this kind of like fall kind of uh, look to it. So that is the paper that I got. And then these are the other items I got. So I picked up these two flower picks. They were on clearance, 70% off. Um, I think these came out to like $1.49. So I'm giving these to my mom because she was looking for some uh, flowers. Actually, she's wanting to, how do I say this? She joined a ukulele group at the Senior Citizen um, Community Center here in our hometown. And um, they've been doing little shows over at the various uh, nursing homes and assisted living um, places. So their whole thing is like, you know, the way they wear the Hawaiian shirts and the lays and play, you know, all these different songs. So she was wanting to make a flower clip and these are the two that i could you know that i found well because a lot of stuff is already gone now it's all mostly just um fall stuff that's coming out and these two are the only ones that i thought would be okay as far as like for summer so i plan on like cutting it off and then gluing it to a clip so um i'll have to see if she likes it um She's not here right now. She's actually in Orlando with one of my sisters for a funeral. Um, my aunt's uh, husband had passed away last week and so they went for the funeral. I was a unable to go because um, I have to work. So I picked up this Park Lane uh, sticker set, which I thought was really cute. I, tried, I had to hold myself back because they had, so like I said, I haven't been to Joann's in so long and there were so many cute things that they had, you know, out of the Park Lane collection. Found this um, stamp here that's only $1.48. I think it was regular, actually I can't read it, but I thought it was really cute. Um, yeah, so I'm going to use that. I also found this Memento um, stamp pad on clearance for $2.97 and it's London Fog, so it's a gray. Um, hopefully that'll work okay in my Hobonichi. Um, I found some clearance items for 4th of July. Um, mostly for my mom and my friend Kat. So I got my mom these earrings. 
I forgot, they were 70% off, I think. I forgot how much it was after the discount. And then I found this for my friend Kat, if she's watching, proud AmeriCat. So she's getting those, her birthday is coming up. Um, this is the reason why I wish Joann's would open a store on this side of um, the county because like Michael's and Hobby Lobby, the two craft stores that are closest to me, um, they don't carry a lot of the stuff that Joann's does. And I think Joann's has a better craft section selection than either one of them. For instance, like neither of them carry like the Posca paint um, pens, right? So I'm going to try to use these with the wax seals and see if that works. <laughs> Cause like, seems like all the other pens that I have with the exception of the gold one that, um, or the only, you know, gold one's the only one that works with the wax seals. So I also got these two. Now I usually see these over at, um, well, something similar over at Hobby Lobby. Um, and I like these two colors because this is like a pretty, it's a kind of a dark metallic gray. I don't know what to call it. And then this one, I really love this one. It's um, not rose gold. They did have a rose gold, but I, I didn't want that. I don't know how to call it. It's like almost like a brushed gold in a way, but it's a really pretty color. Um, I usually use thread like that for, you know, texture, dimension. Um, I picked up this Tim Holtz, uh, what do you call this? Uh, the Thought Tokens. 18 pieces and then I also got um, this Park Lane ephemera um, pack which would work well with a project that I'm doing right now actually let me go and get it for you so you can see it now these I actually worked on during the week which is kind of rare for me because I don't um, I usually work um, on projects on the weekend but I just wanted to show so I bought those time cards from uh, where was it from Sam's last week? And this is one, how, this is how I, I used it. So this right here, I used distressed oxide on it and then just pulled from various pieces that I have to create this, uh, tag in a sense. I was going to actually, you know, cut the corners, put the hole punch, but I decided not to. And then this one right here is my favorite. Once again, I used, um, distressed ink and then just pulled from various collections like that's Prima, this is Bo Bunny, Dollar Tree, um, you know, so here's some like thread that I use. This was um, a stamp that I have that I, I tested out um, some white ink and then of course like this uh, washi tape behind here is from Prima. This is from the Martha Stewart, uh, I forgot, collection from Michaels. It was a like a foil, iridescent foil doily. Um, and then of course I dated when I created this. So if you can see right here, I did this on July 14th or rather I completed it. This one I have to actually stamp because I forgot. <laughs> so um, yeah, that is what I got from Joann's. And um, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to go back. You know, I really, like I said, I really love Joann's because I feel like they do have a better selection. I like their home goods and, um, my God, that store had so much fabric. Um, but yeah, if Joann's is listening, please open a location in the Lakeland, you know, uh, Cordova Bartlett area because we really need one. Um, you'll probably get a lot of business. So... <laughs> All right, and I also want to say a hello to all of my new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. And I will try to um, put out more videos, more hauls, and if I can, more projects like these. You know, I, I do these kind of things and then I always forget to like film them. But anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next haul. Bye-bye.